That breaking news, new action being taken by state officials to provide relief to high energy bills that many Californians are facing. Due to increased demand and higher natural gas prices, some PG&E customers are faced with hundreds of dollars more in energy bills. And PG&E estimated consumers are paying about 32% more this winter than last year because of the higher natural gas prices. Due to this increase in prices, the California Public Utilities Commission agreed to take action to try and reduce prices. Capital correspondent Ashley Zavala breaks down the agreement reached this afternoon. Ashley. Today, the CPUC ordered utilities to provide an annual credit scheduled for April to go into effect now. The climate credits are distributed twice a year, usually in April and October. Most residents receive a natural gas credit in April and electric credits in April and October. Today's agreement shifts the April credit up to now or as soon as possible. The news comes as a relief to many who are forced are faced with energy bills way over what they budgeted for. CPUC Commissioner John Reynolds tweeting, I joined my colleagues at the California Public Utilities Commission today to support a proposal to move up California's climate credit disbursement and provide some financial support to Californians who received shockingly high energy bills in January due to natural gas price spikes. So how much money is this climate credit? It's broken down into electric and natural gas. For those who have PG&E and for natural gas, they can expect their credit of $52 to be in their account several months earlier than expected. For those who have PG&E for electric, the credit is $38. It's unclear when the credit will be in people's accounts exactly. The CPU said just as soon as possible. We have a full breakdown on today's decision on the KCRA3 app. Back to you.